using cells to access the cell. So, the next button. And we could just keep changing the code behind each of these buttons, but this will leave you with a nice little tour through the, the various different iterations of a loop. This one is going to be called cells. So again, So, we don't have to do this reordering, but just allows us to keep things in the order that we do them. This instance, what I'm going to do is take a copy of our four, and I could use while just as easily. Um, just I'm going to use both, just so as we can see it. With what we're doing here, this range is, is fine if the lists are going down the sheet. The problem is the list going across the sheet the number isn't changing, the letter is. And where it is possible to write code to count A, B, C, D, E, F, and when we finally get as far as A, 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 B, we could do that as well, it's awkward. So what I like to use more often for accessing specific cells on a sheet is not so much the range function here, or method, but cells. And cells takes two values xy location, if you want to think of it that way. But the question here is now, is that 5, 3 or 3, 5? And it's always the row first. The way I remember it is by the saying, along the corridor and up the stairs. So along the corridor is row, up the stairs is vertical. So it would be 5, 3. So if I go back to my VBA environment, 5, 3 would be that one cell. The thing is, the next one is 6, 3. So this is the changing value of i. And if we try that, we have the information moving along. Now, this could work just as well with the while loop. No problem with that at all thing is the list was going across the sheet, this value would stay the same and this would be the variable counter moving. So cells is handier when you have lists going across and down and in fact it's what we're going to use for the rest of this discussion.